Vikra Leviticus 16. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe after the death of the two sons of Aharon, when they offered before Yahuwah and died. And Yahuwah said unto El Moshe, Speak unto El Aharon your brother, that he come not at all times into the holy place within the veil before the mercy seat, which is upon the ark, that he die not. For I will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. Thus shall Aharon come into the holy place with a young bullock for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. He shall put on the holy linen coat and he shall have the linen breeches upon his flesh and shall be girded with a linen belt. And with the linen turban shall he be attired. These are holy garments. Therefore shall he wash at his flesh in water and so put them on. And he shall take of the assembly of the children of Yasharael two kids of the goats for a sin offering and one ram for a burnt offering. And Aharan shall offer at his bullock of the sin offering, which is for himself, and make an atonement for himself and for his house. And he shall take at the two goats and present them before Yahuwah at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And Aharon shall cast lots upon the two goats, one lot for Yahuwah and the other lot for Azazel. And Aharon shall bring at the goat upon which Yahuwah's lot fell and offer him for a sin offering. But the goat on which the lot fell to be for Azazel shall be presented alive before Yahuwah to make an atonement with him and to let him go for Azazel into the wilderness. And Aharan shall bring at the bullock of the sin offering, which is for himself, and shall make an atonement for himself and for his house, and shall kill at the bullock of the sin offering, which is for himself. And he shall take a censer full of burning coals of fire from off the altar before Yahuwah, and his hands full of sweet incense beaten small, and bring it within the veil. And he shall put at the incense upon the fire before Yahuwah, that the cloud of the incense may cover at the mercy seat that is upon the testimony, that he die not. And he shall take of the blood of the bullock, and sprinkle it with his finger upon the mercy seat eastward, and before the mercy seat shall he sprinkle of the blood with his finger seven times. Then shall he kill at the goat of the sin offering, that is for the people, and bring at his blood within the veil, and do with at that blood as he did with the blood of the bullock, and sprinkle it upon the mercy seat and before the mercy seat. And he shall make an atonement for the holy place because of the uncleanness of the children of Yasharael and because of their transgressions in all their sins. And so shall he do for the tabernacle of the assembly that remains among them in the midst of their uncleanness. And there shall be no man in the tabernacle of the assembly when he goes in to make an atonement in the holy place until he come out and have made an atonement for himself and for his household and for all the assembly of Yasharael. And he shall go out unto the altar that is before Yahuwah and make an atonement for it and shall take of the blood of the bullock and of the blood of the goat and put it upon the horns of the altar round about and he shall sprinkle of the blood upon it with his finger seven times and cleanse it and hallow it from the uncleanness of the children of Yasharael. And when he has made an end of reconciling at 
the holy place and at the tabernacle of the assembly and at the altar. He shall bring at the live goat. And Aharon shall at lay both his hands upon the head of the live goat and confess over him at all the iniquities of the children of Yasharael and at all their transgressions in all their sins, putting them upon the head of the goat. And shall send him away by the hand of a fit man into the wilderness. And the goat shall bear upon him at all their iniquities unto a land not inhabited. And he shall let go at the goat in the wilderness. And Aharon shall come into the tabernacle of the assembly and shall, and shall put off at the linen garments which he put on when he went in the, into the holy place and shall leave them there. And he shall wash at his flesh with water in the holy place and put on at his garments and come forth and offer at his burnt offering and at the burnt offering of the people and make an atonement for himself and for the people. And at the fat of the sin offering shall he burn upon the altar. And he that let go at the goat for Azazel shall wash his clothes and bathe at his flesh in water and afterward come into the camp and at the bullock for the sin offering and at the goat for the sin offering and at whose blood was brought in to make an atonement in the holy place shall one carry forth without the camp and they shall burn in the fire at their skins and at their flesh and at their dung. And he that burns them shall wash his clothes and bathe at his flesh in water, and afterward he shall come into the camp. And this shall be a statute forever unto you, that in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, ye shall afflict at your souls and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourns among you. For on that day shall the priest make an atonement for you to cleanse you, that ye may be clean from all your sins before Yahuwah. It shall be a Shabbat of rest unto you, and ye shall afflict at your souls by a statute forever and the priest whom he shall anoint, and whom he shall consecrate at to minister in the priest's office in his father's stead, shall make the atonement, and shall put on at the linen clothes even the holy garments. And he shall make an atonement for at the holy sanctuary, and he shall make an atonement for at the tabernacle of the assembly, and for at the altar, and he shall make an atonement for the priests and for all the people of the assembly. And this shall be an everlasting statute unto you, to make an atonement for the children of Yasharael, for all their sins once a year. And he did as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe.